so, <clears throat> 84 of the bad cast. Alright, today we're having a special beer. Well, not really, but sort of. Alright. <clears throat> today we're having the new Castal L'Eclipse American Black Ale. This is a black IPA. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a black IPA. What, what do you want more? <clears throat> We find it very hard to not dry hop every beer that leaves the brewery. Shake my head. IPA, ISA, Saison, Barley Wine, Hefeweizen, Pale Ale, Farmhouse. We dry hop them all. Darker beers tend to be dry hopped less. God damn it. Ah, they didn't mention their uh, stouts in here. Ah, those are dry hopped, you son of a bitch. Um. <laughs> Darker beers tend to be uh, dry hopped less, but not this dark beer. The Black IPA is a hybrid, a mixture of a strong, dark, and su subtly roasty beer that's hopped like an American IPA. A beer with both alcohol warmth and cold weather appeal, as well as juicy, thirst quenching hop flavors. Kind of a perfect pairing. Kind of a perfect pairing with Quebec Autumns, don't you think? <laughs> so it's about like seven bucks, eight bucks a bottle. Uh, 660 milliliters, 6.8% uh, alcohol. <sighs> smells like a, a hoppy, dark, it, it smells like a black IPA. <laughs> Keep some for later, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you look and uh, see in the sunlight right here, there's not much but of it, but uh, uh, pretty, not very like opaque, dark, more of a brown-ish uh, flavor down here, obviously, because it's uh, thinner. Um, nice little head here for a, a, a black IPA. As I said, um, it smells kind of of a roasty brown ale. Like you get that slight like coffee chocolate taste smell. I always get that wrong. But you have that strong uh, American hoppy smell to it too. It smells like a Yakima, the y Yakima IPA. All right. Cheers. Whoa. All right. I was taken by surprise there. Damn. Um, a very strong coffee taste to it. Um, that wasn't I wasn't really expecting. Um, you have a nice uh, black stout kind of brownish uh, flavor at the start. So after you, you swallow, um, you get that kind of a hoppy bitterness that I don't really like. But if someone was uh, looking for a uh, a black IPA, I, I'd probably take this over a couple others I've tried. Uh, this is a nice balance. Uh, not too hoppy, not too bitter. Kind of, it's kind of staying there right now. Um, it's pretty bitter, but uh, I mean, it could be it could be a lot worse. 
If this wasn't a black IPA or just an IPA, uh, it'd be too bitter. But uh, the, the balance between the 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 brown, the blacks, uh, really uh, makes a, a good balance in the beer, and uh, that's pretty darn good. All right. Uh, I don't think I've received any emails this week. Let's just uh, make sure of that. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Alright, nope. Nope! <clears throat> Alright. Uh, so it's Thursday, not much been going on. I'm, I'm gonna keep this short, because I got a lot of shit to do. As usual. Uh. Ooh, excuse me. And I'm also really lazy, so. Sorry. Oh, God damn, excuse me. Um, so, uh, this week, Halloween passed. Uh, Halloween was uh, Saturday, Friday. Uh, went to a party that was pretty sick. Shouts out, Carlos. Good party. <laughs> um, Except for that, uh, not much, not much, you know. Same old, same old. Uh, I haven't been playing much. Uh, I've been slowly getting back into Terraria with some friends. Uh, we haven't, uh, well, I and we haven't played much since 1.3 came out, and it's like a huge ass update. Like, I, I did a couple of stuff. Stuffs. I, I did a couple of things with uh, the end game. Kind of, we uh, I was playing on a server, uh, a giant bomb community server, and we uh, we actually defeated the Moon Lord and shit, like the 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 end game last boss of Terraria for right now, and uh, it was pretty sick and stuff. Uh, that was a while ago though, so whatever. Um. Except for that, a bit of Dota, a bit of GTA. Um, I just got a humble bundle with a, a bunch of crap in it. Uh, I kind of, I paid like eight dollars for it, six six dollars, and uh, it came with a bunch of games that I kind of wanted to try. And then I tried them, and I was pretty disappointed. Um, like Citizens of Earth is one that I always wanted to try, but I'm not a big RPG guy, so I didn't, I, I like, the game was alright, but I only played like 45 minutes and uninstalled it, because it's not my kind of game, it's like, it's too, it's, uh, I don't know how to say it, it's just too long, I, I just don't want to fucking sink 20 hours into this, um, but it was great for the amount of time I played, so, whatever, um, the main thing I paid for that I wanted was uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 and uh, there was an Insurgency copy that I already had and uh, four copies of Contagion uh, that I already have. So um, I basically just bought the pack for Euro Truck Simulator because I've always wanted to play that game and uh, extra copies for my friends, so I gifted four copies of Contagion to my friends, so we're probably gonna play that sometime, and uh, gifted Insurgency to another friend, so, uh, you know, you gotta give back, give some gifts for you folks at home and shit. The other games like Blackguard 1 and 2, which are like, time, uh, turn-based RPGs, uh, fuck, fuck turn-based, I don't want that. Um, Tesla Grad uh, what is a puzzle game, I believe. I haven't played much, but so far it's really great. It's one of the like of the better games of the pack, in my opinion. Um, really like original and nice. Uh, a story about my uncle is another one that I've, I've played a bit. Uh, that's in the pack, and that one seems a lot. Uh, looks pretty cool. I haven't played enough yet, but um, I really like the concept of it. Like really original puzzle kind of like flying around shit and fucking it's cool uh, looks alright um, except for that not much 
Fallout 4 is coming up, coming out next week. I haven't bought it yet. Uh, I might buy it like sometime, like a Game of the Year edition or some shit. <laughs> but I won't buy it right now. Um, except for that, uh, not much, man. It's pretty much just Fallout 4. And that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, do I have time to close out? Alright, that's it. Awkward ending, but let's go. Uh, Facebook.com slash the badcast, Twitter.com slash Brian Duke, MartinTonyCatLove.com is the email address. Thank you for watching and see you next week. I still have 20 seconds left. Shit. Uh, yeah, I'm hyped for Fallout 4, but I won't buy it right now. Sorry.